All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to let you know I've started a second channel called Harbor Pilot. I'll leave a link in the description below. Got a project for you on this one. This looks like where it all started. Another boat here, salvage boat. Take a quick look at this. Probably a hurricane damaged boat. Hey, this side just needs a good detail. Turn this into a party barge. Have it towed to your final destination. Got a sea keeper. Man, that's the first time I've seen one of those down here in Miami, Florida, and it's crazy. Check out that anchor though, man. We're getting close. The destination is on your left. All right, guys, well, I'm following uh, one of the custodians of the boat uh, is being held down here in a boat yard in Miami and he's gonna take me to the boat unfortunately they did say that it is now pending I mean it, it's been up for months but anyway they said I could still take a look at it you know these type of deals I'm sure fall through all the time the starting bid was a hundred thousand and it had been sitting at that for quite a while it's a four million dollar boat so caught on fire at the top of the bridge probably electric fire something happened this thing's got fire damage smoke damage throughout the entire boat you know but again recently a boat sold for a lot with galati yachts for uh, well it was asking over four million dollars so and i think there's one for sale right now at, at four million so it's a it's this is a 2012 40 or 74 viking monster sport fish just a beautiful boat i mean there's no bringing it back to its former glory but you know it could definitely have some money made to be made on it we made it as i said it is pending but pending don't mean sold especially with a boat in this condition so if you're interested you might still be on the market old banjo 20 foot beam it needs a little bit of tlc Man, look at that. Bridge up top is where the fire started. Electrical fire, I assume, collapsed the uh, upper structure and totally torched this boat. It's got smoke and fire damage throughout the entire boat. We're in the heart of Miami. This is like a commercial industrial area. I guess the big yachts, the, the uh, high-end yachting area. I was just talking to the guy who showed me, who brought me to the boat. Uh, has pushed everything up river. All the commercial stuff is pushed up river. All the big high dollar yachts is closer to the coast. You can see how strong these things are though. I mean, this thing torched for who knows how long glass shattered out and that wall that bulkhead the superstructure is still there i mean the gel coat is gone even the fiberglass a lot of it has been torched off but the structure is still still there the bridge collapsed obviously because of the aluminum was the weak point there the aluminum structure just the aluminum uh structure just melted and hard top i'm assuming it was just dropped in Pretty cool place, really. Betty Klein. I love seeing these big commercial ships. All right, well, where do we start? Let's start at the beginning, at the bow. The hull's got a really nice color. It looks like it may have partially sunk they definitely had to do some repairs already on the hull just to get it keep it floating and it's busy Miami is like another world not one that I'd like to live in let's hop on see how bad she really is and look at this dance floor 
plenty of room back here trolling for marlin Whew. dolphin tuna man this is a big boat I've detailed a lot of boats the biggest boat I've detailed was a 74 foot um, Hatteras but it wasn't a sport fish and it was not anything like this not nearly as wide The starboard side seems to be intact. A ton of space. Huge, huge bow. Got a massive, massive forward deck. I mean, this is like a, like a little soccer field. Fire started up top, dropped down in, and just torched this whole side. Look at that twisted metal, smoked that aluminum. I don't know, four million bucks. Starting bid is at a hundred thousand. I'll have to follow along with the auction and see if it does sell. Right, let's see if we can check out anything up here. Yeah, I'd say it got pretty toasty up here. This looks like where it all started. Yep, and there's some batteries. Just imagine, some battery line heated up. Four million bucks just up in flames. There's another battery. It definitely looks like the hottest spot right here. Drop it in the comments below. What do you think once we go through the rest that you would could get this turned around for? And uh, just even if you just had it as an Airbnb, a big beautiful trophy, that was my original thought. But 20 foot beam, I've got a commercial property where I can put, I got sailboat property. We put a, we're gonna put a trawler there eventually. But I don't know, I think I'm just dreaming with this thing. 20 foot beam, the whole canal is only 70 feet wide. So, but somebody could make something out of this. I don't know, two hundred thousand dollars maybe. Just do the bare minimum and and make it into a, a houseboat. Four million dollar commercial, uh, four million dollar sport fishing houseboat. Whew. All right, let's move along. You can see this is all fiberglass. This is the uh, matting. You got resin, and then they lay mats and mats of fiberglass. And then after that's done, well, first they build these things from the inside out. The first thing they put on the mold is the gel coat, and then they build it out. But you can see, obviously, the gel coat has been completely torched, and there you have the fiberglass matting. See how it comes off. And a wooden teak step. It's still intact. out this luxurious salon. Dang. Man, I wonder what it would take to get this thing to not smell like a campfire. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know, Bill, but I mean the stringers. The ceiling. The structure in here looks good. Look, survived the fire. Beautiful kitchen. 
This feels like I'm at the bottom of the ocean of a uh, sunken ship. Man, it's noisy around here. I don't know how people live in a big city. Holy cow. Careful. Dude, I didn't even see that little step down. That's why they make you sign your life away. I mean, everything is just black. That's black. And I could have just been like, let's go into the freaking kitchen, the galley. Let's walk into the galley and get a snack and... My day significantly ruined. I need to be careful and pay attention. Stop talking so much. Countertops still look good. Man, I, I've seen some damaged boats. I've bought and sold some boats. But I've never seen anything so significant with such significant damage that that once was such a beautiful boat. Man. Contrast. There's this little day head right here. So let's see, I think most of the damage in here is going to be smoke damage and heat damage, but I don't see that it caught on fire in here yet. I gotta be careful. It'll go falling through the floor. Bunk room. Fire came torching through from the bridge. There was the twenty twenty three plans. Stripped to the bones. You can see here where the heat stopped. A little daylight in here. Everything's got quite a bit of patina to it. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking around in these Titanic. At the bottom of the ocean floor. Crazy. Bunks. This one, this room don't look too bad. Double bunk room here. We're on the uh, port side of the boat, moving over to the starboard side. Yeah, this could be made into a really nice Airbnb. Is what I'm thinking. I mean, if you got the money to own a 74 Viking, why are you buying this, you know? So for somebody who can get a steel, gut it, and just refinish the interior. Obviously, the top side's gonna need some paint. Patch the hull, paint the hull. Just turn this thing into a party barge. Have we already made it? Yeah, we're already to the forward berth. The master. State room. It isn't really bad in here. But if you're going to have to go through all the electrical and all the different components and get this thing run in tip-top shape and think you're gonna cruise the Bahamas and you got a project ahead of you all right moving starboard going back down Oop, there's the upper that's the salon we've come down checked all the bunks now here's the actually looks like master man it, it really got hot down here 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this this is the master and it got blown up. There you can kind of see what what it looks like. The material underneath. Here's the wood wood paneling. Nasty job gutting this thing. <laughs> Pop something. Okay. Yeah, there's the salon. There's where I would have fell. Look at all that glue dripping down from the ceiling. <laughs> this is the port side, that's the side that was patched underneath. in the engine room. I think this one's going to be a little bit more than I want to get into. Seeing it in person. out to the salon you see these are you're at your air ducts light boxes you can see I mean this is wood just plywood so it it just got super hot in here it never it never caught fire it just melted from the from the heat collapsing that upper bridge it just melted everything and just smoked it all out I mean because these beams should have caught fire. But the fiberglass on that upper deck is still good. Man, oh man. All right, let's get down to the business end. cooler door still opens and closes this aft sunshade still intact everything on the exterior seems pretty good except for the bridge no problem up there Yeah, I forgot it's got a sea keeper. Man, that's the first time I've seen one of those. This is a giant like gyro that stabilizes the boat. Love to see it in action. Ooh, man, that thing is crazy looking. It looks like it belongs in outer space. Super, super duper heavy ball inside, from what I understand. And as the boat goes side to side, it counterbalances and keeps her stable. That alone is worth some money. Golly, how much is that thing worth? Drop it in the comments. That's a it's a big one. I don't know if they got different sizes. I think they start at like 25 grand. All right. Let's go down below.
the heat definitely got into got into the engine room as well melted the ceiling down onto the engines I'm gonna guess the engines are okay though you know except for obviously hoses and you know a lot of plastic stuff electrical it's gonna have to be replaced but big old MTUs I'll get the specs on them for you but I mean it could be worse could have caught the fuel tank and blown it up big old Cummins generators look at these exhausts man Big, big diesels. But the room stayed sealed other than the heat. I'm not sure if the flames got in here. Another boat here. Salvage boat. Anybody ambitious enough to take her on? Look at that outrigger. Look at that white, that's all patched in. I'm assuming to get the boat, just keep her, uh, keep her afloat. Well, drop it in the comments below. Uh, starting bid is a hundred thousand dollars. What do you think it's going to take to bring this thing back to one to? A, a, a nice usable boat similar to how it was supposed to be or two what if you cut corners and just kind of turned it into a beautiful floating houseboat how much for the interior and you know again not necessarily turning it into a offshore fishing machine but just just usable give me some prices what do you guys think any money to be made on this boat if you were to flip it so I'm heading back to the calmer waters of Charlotte Harbor I'm gonna try to incorporate interesting things like this I am looking for boats as well to possibly fix up and sell and look at this one it looks like there might be too much work here for my capabilities first fire damage boat I've really looked at but I'm gonna be adding more stuff like this interesting stuff nice boats cool boats and I hope you guys come along Stay tuned and permission to lay ashore. The, the big old hatter is here. Let's take a quick look at this. Probably a hurricane damaged boat. Looks like she's been rocking and rolling. This whole side is banged up. Big old Hatteras. Guys, yeah, cool enough to let me hop on the barge here to get some better pictures. All right, there she is. Hey, this side just needs a good detail. 
Thanks.